Yeah, so welcome once again to Mans with Ish. Now, if you haven't watched the video preceding this, please go and watch that so that you'll be able to understand what we're doing here, okay? So now, in a, my last video, I showed you how we got this determinant of A, this denominator as minus 9, minus 9, minus 9. Now, what is there for us to get is the determinant for AX, AY, and AZ. Now, how do we get AX? Let's start with AX first. How do we get the determinant for AX? Now, if you can see, AX is just a slight difference from A, from the determinant of A. So, with this subscript here, X, this should be communicating to us something. This is telling us that this column for X, which is telling us this column here, is being replaced by the constant so i'm going to this first column i'm going to replace it with the constant on this right hand side minus one this one i wrote with a green marker then i'm going to put back all this are you seeing that so the same thing we look for the determinant using our sales rule or expansion by minus and when we use our determinants to solve this particular problem because of time i can't do that again that will give us two so our ax is um sorry that will give us minus two so our ax is minus two so that breaks down to two over nine as our answer so we have gotten x now we're going to do the same thing to get our y so let's get our a subscript y now. To get a subscript y, to get a y, we do the same thing. y is the second column. So we are going to replace our second column here with this constant on green. Minus 1, minus 9, 5. We put back this 1, 3, 1. We do the same thing, we apply the determinant, either using Salos rule, expansion by minus. And when we do that, this is going to give us 12 as our answer. Okay, and when we put 12 here, our answer here becomes minus 4 over 3 as our y. So we do the same thing to get our z, z. So to get our z, we call our z in this our z this time. Z is the third column. So we replace our third column. We replace our third column with this constant on green minus one minus nine five. And when you find the determinant using service rule or expansion by minus, that will give you three. And our a so the z is three. So if you put your three here our answer becomes minus 1 over 3. So this is the solution to um, this system of equation using the Kramer's rule. So thanks for watching. Please remember, I always say that you have to master how to find the determinant of a matrix. For those of you who will not understand this, it simply means that you haven't followed us on getting the determinant of a matrix. So please go and watch my previous videos on um, expansion by minus and the server's rule of finding the determinants of a matrix. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.